Hey there everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Sam from the Midweek Fixture and we are here in Seattle for the CONCACAF Champions League final between Seattle Sounders and Pumas of Mexico City. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Sam from the Midweek Fixture, and today we are in Seattle for the CONCACAF Champions League final second leg between Seattle Sounders and Pumas from Mexico City. It is going to be an absolutely insane game. There's the match day is going to break the attendance record for the CONCACAF Champions League, not just the final, but for the entire competition in all of its history. So the CONCACAF Champions League final works where there's two legs, obviously one home, one away. There is no away goals, which in this case might actually be the detriment to Seattle because they went down to Mexico City. Uh, they went down 2-0 at halftime, but they came back in the second half in like the last 10 to 15 minutes or so from two late penalties and they tied it 2-2. So we're coming up here to Seattle with everything to play for. It's basically 0-0 now all to play for. It's going to be an insane game. absolutely amazing Emerald City supporters ECS always coming in hot that was like oh man goosebumps even just thinking about it but the flares the smoke everything it was amazing like top-notch probably one of the best displays if not the best I've ever seen at a football game <laughs>
26 minutes in. Uh, already had one injury substitution. Looks like we're about to have a second one. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, Sounders are definitely attacking more and attacking better than Pumas are, but Pumas are a lot more aggressive in defense and in the counterattack. So it's turning out to be a really interesting game of back and forth. So we'll see how it continues to go. Roughly 20 minutes left in the half. All to play for. Number 73, Obed Vargas comes in, 16 years old, playing in a Champions League final, in the center of the midfield.
What a game. What a final, too. And such an important result for not only Seattle, who 100% deserve it and deserve to be that first MLS team to win a CONCACAF Champions League in the modern era, but also well-deserving for MLS to finally, finally have a champion because they've been oh so close so many times over the last few years. The CONCACAF Champions League always seemed to be that one Achilles heel of all MLS clubs that tried. And Seattle's finally done it. So really impressive from them. Really happy for the fan base. You can tell like half my voice is gone because they're just so fun. And then I also have to give props to Pumas. They have amazing, amazing supporters. I was sitting next to and in front of some of them. Like not only were they in their supporter section, they were all over. And uh, yeah, they, they were just, they were also amazing, and props to them. They were all so very, very nice, so nice. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy to. Uh, it seems like everybody's. It seems like everybody's partying together. It's really weird. Um, Pumas is happy that they've been here and they got second, and everybody's just partying together. It's really cool. For me, I've reached the pinnacle of club soccer in North America. Like I've been here, I've seen it. You know, I've checked it out, like, so cool. So cool to be able to do that and uh, be able to do it for YouTube. So, really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Um, yeah, it's just amazing experience. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll try and get more like this, but again, this is the pinnacle of club soccer in North America, so it's gonna be hard to top this. Um, and I'm not going to the World Cup, sadly. So, yeah. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.